Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. So I thought that today I would make a bit of a different kind of video, a slightly different format and we'll just give it a go and see if it works. But today I wanted to take you on a little journey with me to make some fire cider vinegar. Now fire cider is a really beautiful uh, medicine, it is a really great little herbal remedy to have on hand um, and it really kind of helps with any kind of colds, flu, infections, um, any kind of illness situations um, and especially helps with the onset of a cold and it can really help to kickstart and really just boost your immune system and just support your body. So it is a really great little herbal remedy to have on hand um, and I thought I would take you today on a little journey with me um, from beginning to end of uh, crafting this fire cider and um, also show you kind of the ingredients that I use and what ingredients are traditionally used um, and why those ingredients are used. So I have all my ingredients here and I will talk about each one and explain why each one is good for fire cider. Uh, now I know that generally fire cider is something that people make uh, in the winter months or even in the autumn months leading up to winter to um, help support the body and um, help prevent infections and things like this. Um, but for me personally, there are times when I catch colds and things like this in early spring and even all the way up to late spring. <laughs> so for me, I find that it's really useful for me to have a batch of fire cider on hand pretty much um, pretty much the whole year, <laughs> maybe apart from summer. Um, but it's really useful for me to just have and uh, keep on hand just in case. And so since my recent batch that I had all through winter time has now finished, I thought that today I will make a new batch um, and show you how I make it. I will talk about each ingredient and kind of why, why it's used. Now, there is definitely a traditional way of making fire cider with very traditional ingredients, um, but then other people also very often use other ingredients that they prefer um, or that is more palatable for them or perhaps makes the fire cider a little bit sweeter, um, better to their own taste. So you can definitely use um, any other ingredients that you feel you like or prefer um, or might work better for you and your taste palette, that is absolutely fine. Uh, there is no one way of crafting fire cider and each person can really um, adjust things um, to their own taste, which is kind of the beauty of this recipe, I think. It is very, very versatile. Um, so for example, I will be using here things like ginger, turmeric, um, um, hot peppers, um, like jalapenos, or in my case, since I couldn't find jalapenos in my store, um, I'm just using normal just chili peppers for now. Um, I'm also using some onion, garlic, um, orange, lemon, horseradish, and also some herbs of rosemary and thyme. Um, so these are my ingredients for today, but other people I have seen also use things like um, grapefruit, pomegranate, um, hibiscus, cranberries, um, and all kinds of other things. So it is really, um, really up to you um, kind of what ingredients you wish to work with and what works better for your own taste, taste palette. Um, if perhaps you want to make it a little bit sweeter um, to your own taste. So that is also absolutely fine. And the other thing to note with fire cider is that because it is such a strong and intense um, vinegar <laughs> recipe, um, that if you are perhaps a person who doesn't deal with vinegar so well, or perhaps uh, you have some kind of gastric issues or anything like that, then maybe this particular recipe won't be the best thing for you. Um, but however, there are many, many other ways that you can help boost your immune system um, without the use of vinegar. So there are definitely other ways that you can help yourself um, and you don't have to use 
vinegar or make this recipe um, but for anyone else who is okay with vinegar <laughs> generally then this recipe is a really wonderful uh, boost for for your immune system and a really good remedy to have on hand and so for this recipe I am also going to be using some good quality apple cider vinegar and I will also be using a little bit of honey at the very very end to help sweeten my vinegar a little bit as that's just the way I like to take it but like I say it is totally up to you and you can leave the vinegar plain as it is or you can add some honey as well if you wish to and the other really nice thing about this vinegar is that when it's made and ready you can actually apart from taking it in a medicine form like in a shot um, you can also take it as a food so you can use it in anywhere where you would normally use vinegar for example like salad dressings or anything like that where you would normally like to use a vinegar so it is really versatile and really easy to use and consume so without further ado let's start by making this vinegar and the very first ingredient i'm going to start with is the onion So the onion is something that is really great for all kinds of flus and infections and viruses. It is full of vitamin C and it is also full of a lot of anti-inflammatory and antiviral qualities. And it also contains something called quercetin, um, which is something that is really beneficial for our heart. Um, and it also helps to fight off infections and viruses and all kinds of things like that and just helps to boost and support our body so i'm going to start by chopping this up into my jar and then we'll continue with the other ingredients So next I'm going to be adding some garlic. Now we all know garlic is very good for us, especially when we're ill. Um, garlic is also really full of antioxidants and it also has a lot of vitamin B and C and also magnesium and it just really helps to boost our body and really helps our body to fight off any infection that it's dealing with. So garlic is just really helpful and really really good for us. Um, so I'm going to be adding this whole head of garlic here into my jar. So the next thing I'm going to add to my jar is ginger. Now ginger is also a really wonderful anti-inflammatory and just so good for our body. But I wanted some extra reference on ginger. So I have pulled out one of my favorite herbal books here. This is the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine by Andrew Chevalier. And this is one of my most favorite, favorite books that I have. Um, it is just really wonderful. It is so um, easy to read, very user-friendly and very beginner-friendly. And it is laid out really wonderfully with some beautiful illustrations and the history of each plant and its uses um, and what parts are used and basically what, it's, what it does and what it's good for. So I, I really love this book. So I read up on Ginger that it is an anti-inflammatory, of course. It is also an antiviral. It is a digestive stimulant, so aids with digestion. And it is also a circulatory stimulant, stimulant. So it means it helps really just help the circulation in our body, get things moving, get things flowing, and essentially to 
take out, move out all those things we don't want there. So all that infection and illness and just kind of, yeah, get things flowing and moving and get them out basically. So um, it helps with that. And it also helps, it says here with um, pain relief and reducing muscle pain, um, which can be something uh, really good for when you're not feeling well and you're just feeling a bit achy and yeah, just not feeling good. So ginger can really help with that. So we're going to add some ginger into the mix. So next I'm going to add some fresh horseradish. So it says here that horseradish also has a lot of vitamin C and antioxidants and that it also promotes perspiration, making it useful for fevers, colds and flus. And it is also an expectorant, meaning it gets things moving and just gets things out of your system, um, which is really good, and is mildly antibiotic and it can be used in both respiratory and urinary tract infections. So yeah, fresh horseradish is a really good one. So I'm going to add that one in as well. So now I'm going to be adding in some of my citrus fruits and my hot peppers. So citrus fruits like lemons and oranges are of course so good for us. They are once again full of vitamin C and also antioxidants, which again are just helping our body to be able to essentially fight off the infection and whatever is going on inside and just really give such a good boost um, to our immune system and just really help help that along. Um, so lemons, oranges, really great and of course they taste amazing and then the whole fire cider will taste really really great. And hot peppers, today I have just some green chili peppers because I wanted um, jalapenos but I could not find them right now um, when I was looking for them. So I have just simple green chili peppers today, but you can use any other hot peppers that you like, or likewise, you can completely leave them out if they are not something that you wish to um, have in your fire cider. But um, they are just, they bring a little bit of heat um, to the whole um, concoction and they just help kind of warm, warm you up um, from the inside and just, really really nice when you take that little shot um, of the fire cider it just helps warm things up and get things going so um, i'm going to add all of these things now into the jar as well And so next I'm going to add in some fresh turmeric and some fresh rosemary and thyme. Now all of these herbs also have a lot of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant qualities which are really great in just helping the body to once again just fight off the infection and just give such a good boost um, to our body. And Thyme actually also has antibacterial and antiviral qualities, which is really wonderful for all kinds of illnesses and sore throats and things like that. So 
it's just really helpful. And then rosemary um, is not only an immune booster, but it is also a cognitive booster. So it also helps brain function. So that's also really helpful. So all of these together, really great um, for when we're not feeling well. Um, and I, I am using the fresh version of all of these herbs because I managed to get them fresh. However, you can also just as well use the dry version of each herb. So dried uh, turmeric, for example, ground, ground turmeric and rosemary and thyme can also be dry if that's the way um, that you can get them. So I'm going to add those in as well. And now all that's left to do is just to pour over our apple cider vinegar. And so that's it, the vinegar is now finished and all I'm going to do with it now is just simply put the jar away into a cool, a dark place, something like a cupboard or a cabinet and it's just going to stay there for about three to four weeks to just macerate and mix in well together and after the three, four weeks is up, the rest of the process is really easy. You simply uh, strain the liquid through a cheesecloth or something similar and you can then discard or compost um, all the other ingredients. And when you're left with the liquid, you are essentially finished. Uh, you can take it as is, or if you wish to, like me, you can also add in a bit of honey um, to your own taste, um, if that makes it more palatable for you. I know it does for me, um, so that's what I will be doing. And uh, I think I've created quite a good batch here. <laughs> I think it's going to last me quite a good amount of time. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, and then you can essentially store your vinegar in the fridge um, for at least three to six months. Um, for some people, they say it lasts much longer. Um, some people say less. There really isn't an exact amount of time, but you can taste it and smell it. And as long as it you know, smells and tastes okay, then it's perfectly fine to have. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it with the vinegar. Um, so I hope you enjoyed um, this video and I hope you found it useful. Um, this is one of, one of my favorite um, herbal medicines to make. It is so easy, so simple and actually so fun because you can add in essentially any kind of ingredients um, that you like um, that are immune boosting um, and you can really experiment. And like I say, other people sometimes add things like pomegranate or um, grapefruit or cranberries. Uh, so you can really make it really make it your own <laughs> so it's really it's really a fun uh, process 
and I will also leave down in the description box below all the ingredients and the amounts that I used um, in case you guys want to try the same thing um, everything will be stated down below um, but also know that you can do everything by the amounts that you wish and there is no set exact way of making this recipe but in any case I will leave everything down below for you if you wish to have a go um, and if you guys make your own cider vinegar, um, please let me know uh, in the comments below. Please tell me how it goes for you. Um, let me know um, what success you have with the recipe. And thank you so much for watching today. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day and see you very, very soon. Goodbye.